if you have a house heater that does not heat up as it should or doesn't blow enough air guys check out what's the number one reason okay right there guys enormous amount of dirt and dust build up so stay with us we'll show you how we're going to take this one apart clean it and it will perform like brand new again Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Product Review. Today will be a little bit unusual video, guys. We will show you how to fix a house heater that does not heat up very good, does not blow enough air. Stay with us, guys. We're going to show you what causes that. Okay, we'll demonstrate on that Honeywell heater, but many of them will use that design, guys. And if you use them for a few years, a couple of seasons, you will notice that they do not blow as much air as they should, guys, and they don't heat up as good. And we'll explain why. Make sure to stay with us until the end. So let's start on it now so what i'm going to do usually on the bottom okay on if you have the one with the swivel base okay you have to remove you have a few stickers okay four of them and under those stickers guys you're going to find that you actually have uh, screws and uh, now the heaters nowadays okay they use different design screws but uh, most of the times they use something called like a torx guys okay it's a star looking bit hopefully you can see what it looks like and i'm going to go ahead and just open those okay remove four screws on the base here you have to make sure that your heater is completely on port guys because you don't want okay actually to be electrocuted so uh, be careful guys now okay this one is coming out three more to go so you always have to be extremely careful make sure everything's unpoked make sure that everything's safe uh, but uh, you will notice usually guys after the first season that it will not be as efficient as it was when you first purchased the heaters and this is normal okay this is not uh, the design okay but it's something else and stay with us we're going to explain more about that even though i've seen heaters with uh, with a special element that will prevent that from happening and we're going to uh, cover more about that in just a little bit next guys we'll need to get a few obscure screwdriver for here and uh, we'll continue after that so we are going to go ahead and remove the two screws here this is for the swivel base okay and we're going to see if we'll be able to remove that bottom piece out because we'll need to uh, the one with the swivel base guys makes things a little bit more complicated to work on and uh, to fix so it will take a little bit of disassembly the one without the swivel base are usually way easier okay to remove and take apart unfortunately we are not so lucky so we have one more here that we need to remove okay this one in the middle is still holding some from what i can see okay it's almost practically out as well so okay let me see what else we have here okay everything should be good to go on this side guys for what i can see at least and uh, we'll go ahead and continue disassembling we have two more that i need to remove on the side right here one on this side one on uh, the left side and we should be able to get to the point that we need to remove just a couple more and we should be able to open the heater and see what's on the inside okay perfect now we just have four more that we need to remove quick okay one on top uh, one on the top left corner one on top right corner and then we have two more on the bottom and we'll be able guys to pull that thing out and see what is causing our problems now okay just last one here now they don't make them really easy to take apart sometimes it takes quite a bit of disassembly and putting it together okay i'm going to drop all the screws here so i don't lose them and now we should be able to pull that panel out okay perfect okay we have one mount here with four little clips that hold the heating element that's a ceramic heating element in and once i pull it guys i want to show you what's on the inside why the heater is not working okay because of all that build up of dust and dirt here guys 
which is in the air and uh, most of the heaters now they do not have guys air filter that will clean that some on the market that are more expensive they do come with an air filter and i love those but they're not really common so the okay the reason why our heater wasn't performing as it should okay that right there guys otherwise it will work like brand new so we'll go ahead clean it put it together and we'll see what it looks like after that so i went ahead and clean everything guys okay you can i want to show you what it looks like now compared to before okay the element is clean i need to work a little bit more on the fan we'll go ahead do that guys and i'm going to go ahead plug it in and see how that takes care of that problem so i'll plug the heater in guys we'll put everything together okay you can see and the amount of air that we get on the front is just unbelievable you can you can kind of like feel it immediately guys it doesn't take time to build up airflow you feel that heat you feel that air being released immediately because when it was plugged up what will happen that dust barrier will block the air and the heating element will heat up which is very dangerous because you can catch even on fire but it will not let that air go through the heating element and that heat will just stay inside the heater and it will not be uh, it will not be pushed out so that's why it's very good idea guys to clean them once in a while you can see that sticker that says hot and it turns red when it heats up okay before it just stayed black all the time because we were not getting enough airflow so uh, hopefully guys the video will help you save some some money on um uh, house space heater guys because uh, otherwise you have to replace them every couple of seasons guys when all you have to do is just clean them so thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time